Hey guys, want to do a quick video today on a kind of a down and dirty, get to get right to it, uh, mic setup on the GoXLR. Um, so I've had a couple questions over the last couple weeks. Just wanted to address them because I think it's easier to do in a video where I can I can link in the future. So we're gonna go over uh, mic setup in general. So the very first thing that you want to do when you get your GoXLR, you get your mic plugged into the GoXLR the way they they want you to set it up. Uh, go into the the mic setup area now what I do when I do this portion of the setup is um, I hit it with some tests test 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 and you'll see when I when I say those tests they go right about to the G maybe a little bit underneath the G uh, in the good area so what you want to do is you want to adjust your gain up and down based off of where your tests are likely to be uh, in regards to this little meter so for me, I have a um, Electro Voice RE320. It's a dynamic microphone, but I have it on phantom power because I'm using a Cloudlifter 1. So for me, I found that that gain was roughly around uh, 13 dB. Once, that do once that's done, um, the GoXLR will sort of normalize that to, to a nice output. And then we can get right into the noise gate. So what I do with the noise gate is I, I open up the advanced little uh, tab that you see here. And in this advanced tab, what I do is I bring this all the way down. This is going to let in all the background noise and everything like that uh, into, into the microphone. And what I like to do is introduce some noise that's pretty common. So, for example, I have my keyboard, right? So you can hear my keyboard. And then I bring this up uh, while I'm listening to my mic in my ear until I can't hear the keyboard anymore. Um, I like to leave attenuation on 100%. Attenuation basically is, is how loud the volume is of the noise gate or how much they let through uh, on the noise gate. Attack is how fast the noise gate is activated. And then release is how long does it stay open before it shuts once the, the noise level goes below that threshold. Um, that's really important because if you're setting your threshold a bit high to where you're talking, you want to make sure that you can finish sentences in it with a strong tone uh, before it turns off. Uh, secondly, we can hop into equalization. So I'll give you a little uh, background on this. So there's there's the easy way, which is, you know, it shows up like this. I prefer the, the more advanced way or the, the more frequency dependent way here. Uh, what I like to do is basically mute uh, the 31.5 hertz. Nobody's voice is going to be at 31.5 hertz. Um, so in all honesty, um, I tend to tend to bring that all the way down. Um, there is some situations with reverb or echo or something like that that you can get some of this 63 hertz, but not very frequently. Traditionally, in any sort of a microphone or any other mixer, you would have a roll-off that's about 80 hertz or lower. Um, so I lower this as well. Um, I get a little bit of boost presence or bass presence, sorry, uh, by boosting the 125 hertz by just uh, one decibel. And then what I do is I like to bring down the 250 hertz. The reason being is that uh, there's a lot of muddiness going from the base of your voice to the high end of your voice. And it usually happens in men around 250 to 350 hertz, somewhere in that range. Uh, each person's a little bit different. So I like to roll that all the way down. That way there's sort of a distinct line between the base end of my voice and the clarity of the upper end of my voice. Now the other, the upper end of my voice traditionally goes to about 4,000-ish, I would say. Maybe a little bit higher than that. So in all reality, you can roll off or, or lower the dB on the top end of this pretty pretty consistently, especially because like 16,000 hertz is really just like a hissing noise. Uh, so I like to roll those all the way off to get rid of any any type of hiss that may be uh, coming in through that microphone right there. Um, then we can hop into compressor. So there's two ways to compress. You can compress throughout the whole talking range or you can compress just at the high end of the talking range. If you compress throughout the whole talking range um your lows go higher and your highs stay lower but if you compress just at the top end then you're really only bringing down the the top end so i like to be a little bit in the middle um my noise gate activates at minus 38 or minus 36 um, my voice probably starts at about 20 ish 25 ish uh on the minus db scale now i'm compressing really really aggressively and i've just been playing around with this um, traditionally, when you're talking, I would say this isn't an issue. Um, you can compress all the way down from 2.5 to 1. 4, 4 to 1 is a very, very common uh, ratio. What that ratio is, is for every decibel above your threshold, uh, it compresses by that amount. So if I'm 4 decibels above my, um, my threshold, it's going to compress it down to 1 decibel above. Uh, if, if I had this up at 8... If I'm eight decibels above my threshold, it's going to compress it down as if it's only one decibel above my threshold. The reason why I had it so extreme is, is I was actually uh, testing out a little bit of singing settings. 
So singing settings, like when you scream like, woo, you want to bring that all the way down to a level that's normal with a lower end of your singing voice, like uh, something like that, right? Um, your attack is how fast the compressor works. You really want that to work quick once you get above this threshold, especially if you're screaming. The release is how long does it take for it to turn off once it gets below the threshold. Um, I traditionally don't like this to be too fast because then you get this like weird uh, modulated type sound if you don't do it right. But the one important thing with um, the one important thing that you'll see with compression is that if you compress it compress it too much, you'll never get above a certain point, and that means that you need to have some makeup gain within the compression. Um, so what I do is I go into OBS. And you'll see when I'm talking in OBS, I like to keep my voice uh, just above the yellow line as much as possible, especially if I go real loud. So what I do is I take this GoXLR app and uh, I raise the makeup gain up uh, so that when I'm talking, I'm somewhere between the yellow and the red pretty much constantly. And that allows my voice to sound good on the user's end and sound loud enough on the user's end to where they can kind of keep their volume scale right in the middle. That way, if they want to lower it, they can. If they want to raise it, they can as well. Um, lastly, we can go through the de -esser. The de -esser, the easiest way for me to, to explain it is go down to zero and just say S's, S, S. You'll hear it's it's pretty crisp, right? It's like a, it's a real hard S. And if you go all the way up to 100 and you say S, S, it almost sounds like you have a lisp, right? Um, so somewhere in between, and I found like 44s where I tend to like it when I'm saying S's all the time. But that essentially is it. That's your quick and dirty uh, kind of GoXLR setup. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, again, with the mic setup, you should only have to do it once. Um, set it the first time. Now, if you do change microphones, if you're changing settings, you know, the key here is that you go back through and redo the mic setup. When you do redo the mic setup, you have to redo the noise gate and you have to redo the um, compressor because you're going to be at a different gain level each time. So if you're at a different gain level, you have to adjust the gate and the compressor. My recommendation, set the mic where it's mostly going to be when you're streaming or when you're recording. Um, set it up that way and then set your downstream effects um, in concordance with that. So you guys have a great day. If you guys like the video, hit like. If you don't like it, uh, hit dislike. If you guys like other content and you want to request some more stuff that uh, you guys want to see some quick videos on, uh, hit the subscribe button and comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks for, thanks for being here, guys. Talk to you later.